Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. The last time I left off, it seems like Komaida revealed his true colors. And apparently he killed Togami. But as soon as we're saying, okay, he did it, let's cast our our votes. Uh, Sumuki's like, there is something I want to bring up. And now nah, we gotta listen to her testimony. So, or we gotta, we gotta do a non-stop debate. So... Let's go ahead and uh, get this one started. This introduces the white noise, so this is kind of like the, those uh, blocks we had in the first game. However, you can't, we can't destroy them just yet. So we have a lot of testimonies and Sumiki's examination results. Okay. Um, the thing that concerns me is... We already know the culprit is Komaida! That's certainly true. Um, but you see... He is, he is even confessed. There's no reason to deny that. Um, but... That bastard Komaida. Stabbed Togami with the knife he had hidden. And that's the end of it. Um, I can't handle it after all. Wait a second, everyone. Look how much time that dirty bitch wasted. That's at least you're out. In that case, let's move on and enjoy the vote. That other voice I was doing at the end is kind of like what those little white noise was. The reason for Sumiki's concern... There must be some kind of contradiction between the, what she knows and the state of the crime scene. Hmm. Yeah. I think we all know what it is. So. Uh, let me just make sure I have the proper thing set up. Uh, I name it. This looks, yeah, this looks right. Remember her examination results. Remember he was stabbed with uh, something that was like five millimeters. Now, how can a knife, which uh, Kazuryu said right there, how could that be a weapon of five of five millimeters? So something is very odd here. Sad. It's kind of like it sucks that we're like crap. We we admit it. She is right. That knife probably wasn't a murder weapon. Is that what worries you, Sumiki? What are you talking about? That knife has to be the murder weapon. But. Judging from the wounds on Togami's body, the murder weapon should be about 5 millimeters in diameter. 5 millimeters in diameter? That's much thinner than a knife. Ugh, you had better be damn sure about this. If you're wrong, I'll have you kidnapped and sold overseas. Uh, I don't want to go overseas. Hey, don't threaten her like that. In summary, what Sumiki is trying to say is that since we can't prove that the knife is a murder weapon, we also can't say for certain that I'm the culprit. What are you saying? Are you telling us someone other than you is the culprit? I'm not saying anything. It was Sumiki who said it. I I'm sorry. Hey, Kom Komaida, are you perhaps still hiding something? There's more? Like, maybe something happened between you, between Togami and Komaida, and, and that we still don't know anything about. Who knows? Hmm. What is left for him to hide? Ah, uh, that's so annoying. He's gone all quiet now that things are, aren't going his way. What did happen during that blackout? Hmm? Hmm? Ah, what, what Ib Ibuki crossed her eyes. Uh, everyone hears doubles. Don't give up like that! There's lives on the line! Huh? Whose lives are on the line? What the hell are you gonna get uh, get on with the rules here? No one could see anything during a blackout. Try as you might, the truth shall remain hidden in darkness. <laughs> Not a bad metaphor coming from likes of me, is it? The metaphorical darkness is an analog for... No. You're wrong. Wrong? How am I wrong? You said the truth shall remain hidden in darkness. But it won't. We still have something that can illuminate the situation, so to speak. Remember, yeah, it's completely dark. However, we know that Miyota has very good hearing, and she was able to hear what happened during the whole thing. And if you remember, there was a couple of interesting aspects that happened during that um during the conversation during the blackout. It's true that no one could see anything during the blackout, but that doesn't mean no one could hear anything. Isn't that right, Miyota? It is? Don't just forget all about it! Don't you remember telling us about it? You know, about who said what while the lights were out? And as they're doing the whole thing on calm down, don't step on my feet, and here's Togami. Oi, what are you doing? Stop it! And then Komaida's like, ow! 
And everyone's also like, you know, turn on the lights. What are you doing? I'm in the kitchen. Can someone perhaps uh, flip the circuit breakers? Wait here, I'm gonna see if I can fix it. As expected from the super high school level light music club member. That's amazing, being able to distinguish voices like that. Her face, brain style, and personality might may be a failure, but at least she has good ears. What the hell? Is that laughing? Aha! Ibuki's been stabbed with a knife of a fine argument! But listening to Togami and Komaya's words during a blackout. What are you doing? Stop it. Ow. It was almost it almost sounds like Komaida was met with a counter art counterattack from Togami. Well, that would be because I was. Uh-huh. I guess I should show my respect for Mio Miyota's uh, uh talent there and make a small confession. The truth is, I was pushed away by Togami, right there under the table. You were pushed away by Togami? When the lights went out, I quickly crawled under the table to retrieve the hidden knife, but... Well, Togami, wearing his Irish and goggles, fouled me and pushed me away from the table. That's right. I am the worst kind of incompetent fool. I couldn't even get my own knife. So, when Komaido was about to get his knife, he was seen by Togami? And before he could reach that knife, he was pushed from under the table? When he listened to their words during the blackout... What are you doing? Stop it. And... Komaida says, ow. It does sound plausible. It certainly sounds that way. In fact, I'd go as far as to say... It can't be anything else. After I was pushed from under the table, I joined the rest of you in your simple state of confusion. I'd lost my glow-in-the-dark landmark, and I couldn't tell where that electric cord what was anymore. Then, after a while, the lights came back on, and we found Togami's body under the table. Wait just a second! So, are you saying that you're not the culprit? Ever since we decided to hold a party, I've been planning. Hiding the knife and setting up the power outage, those are certainly parts of the plan. But, unfortunately, my plan ended in failure, all because of Togami and his night vision goggles. What happened after the plan? Failed? I don't know myself. Ended in failure? So, you're saying you couldn't kill Togami? This time we really are back at square one. Back at square one? After all that discussion? Meaningless. There's no word as more despair inducing. But, you must not give up! You must face forward with hope in your hearts and do your best! You are symbols of hope! You can recover and rise up again as many times as required! Is Komaida really the culprit? And before that, is that really the Komaida I knew? No, I can't say I knew Komaida at all. I thought I knew him, but I didn't. I had no idea. I never knew what he was really like. There's... There, that's all there is to it. But now there's now's not the time to worry about that. Whatever we do, we must expose the culprit who killed Togami. Because if we can't, it's all over. And suspended. Oh, holy crap! This game is taking breaks. Okay, well we got another Monokuma and Monomi thing going on there. Well then, we're, we're almost about ready for the climax of the school trial, but first, here's a short quiz. Huh? What's this all of a sudden? I was thinking anyone who know, already knows who the culprit is should get a chance to name them right here and now. Anybody who fails to identify the culprit will have their saves, save data corrupted, but I think I'll reward anyone who succeeds 1 billion yen. 1 billion yen? Anyone who still doesn't know who the culprit is may simply perceive it without answering, of course. So who's your choice, you bastards? Um... Uh... Continue or guess the culprit? Uh, well, okay, I guess we'll try. That was a fake! It wasn't a real choice at all! There's no way I'm gonna let you guess the culprit right now! I'm not gonna give you all one billion in either! You fiend! You truly are a fiend! Oh, damn it all. I thought I was gonna do something. Uh... Okay, and now we're gonna save. This would've been a perfect time to stop the video, but the last video was going on for quite a while, so... Eh. Well, I guess we'll just continue on. This is... I have to reopen the case now. Or the class trial. I'm keeping Phoenix Wright and uh, Ace Attorney stuff mixed up here. Lingo, I mean. 
I'm Monami, and right now my heart is beating very fast. Togami, who is everyone's leader, has been killed, and they say one of the students is a culprit. No, I won't believe it. It will never, I will never believe it. I mean, the only thing I believe is in my students. So do your best, everybody. And remember, save early and save often. Uh, was that like a, uh, that might have been a warning. Hmm. I haven't really safe stating often either. Ah, whatever. Well then, what are we to do now? If we agree the knife wasn't a murder weapon, then there's no conclusive evidence showing that I'm the murderer. You should keep your mouth shut! That is, this is for the rest of us to decide. He said it was pushed away from under the table, but we don't know that for sure, do we? The pretentious one is correct. That some, that some other weapon was used should not itself lift our suspicions. But there is another reason Komaina can't be the culprit. Huh? There's more? We all agree that the culprit killed Togami under the table, don't we? Well, is that a problem? Um, I thought Komaira said uh, Komaira was too clean to be the culprit. Ah, someone's finally complimenting me for my impeccable personal hygiene. Even my mother never uh, uh, praised me for anything. Uh, no, no, that's not what I meant. Oh, I get it. When Sumiki called Komaira clean, she meant that... He doesn't have any blood on him, he wasn't dusty, he wasn't injured, he wasn't carrying a weapon. Obviously, she obviously she means that he um, didn't have any blood on him. And that would be this answer right here. What you're saying is that Komaida didn't have any blood on him, right? Yes, that's it. I mean, there was a lot of blood splattered all over the table, wasn't there? There was even splatters of, of blood all over the tablecloth. If he really had killed Togami under that table, it's strange that he did not get any blood on him. Oh, as you can see, there isn't any blood on me at all. Maybe he simply used something to avoid the blood. But what is that something? Was there something that could be used to avoid the blood splatter? Oh, actually, there was. Isn't that right, Hinata? There was indeed. Something that could be used to avoid getting blood on yourself. And we saw that in the laundry room. Where was it? Yep, there it is. It's the blood-stained tablecloth. It was just completely drenched in blood and it looked like somebody just shoved it in there. So obviously, something's up. There was a tablecloth of blood on it in the storage room. Is that what you're talking about? If there was blood on it, there, that must be it. Komaida must have used it under the table to avoid the blood. But, it was found in the storage room, was it not? Are we to believe that he carried it there after the murder? Do you mean after the lights came back on? What, what did he plan to do if someone saw him? That's right, that tablecloth was pretty large, so carrying it through the lodge in order to hide it... Furthermore, it was, eno it was enough trouble grabbing a knife in the darkness, stabbing someone while wrapped in a tablecloth on top of that? I don't think the most talented people in this room could do that, let alone someone at my level. So, what does it mean? Perhaps the culprit didn't step Togami under the table. Eh? I had a feeling it was gonna go go somewhere with this. Impossible. That the victim died under the table is beyond question. If the blood splattered all over the tablecloth, it's clear that that's where Togami was killed. True, Togami was stabbed under the table, but that doesn't mean that's where he was stabbed from. Frankly, it doesn't make any no sense at all. The place where Togami was stabbed and the place the culprit stabbed him from are different? Oh, Hinata, your face is just you just found figure something out. Really? You just got that riddle thing she just said? It feels like I'm about to get it, but it's still vague. It's a place that is both under the table and isn't under the table. That's the only thing that makes sense. You start with that notion, you drop your preconceptions, and you pick the right answer. I think. Oh, we got another tutorial here, and it's actually something that we're kind of used to. Uh, actually, I'll be right back, guys. I have a phone call I gotta take. Alright, guys, sorry about that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so I guess I, don't know, I guess I was talking about there's gonna be uh, there's no tutorial here so yeah something new coming up. The time has come to reason out an important keyword. This is done through flashing anagrams or renewal. So yeah, we had this in the last game. 
The goal of this stage is to line up letters in the correct order and make up a keyword that has to do with has to do something with the case at hand. Flaming Anagram is a little bit like a puzzle game. The various letters will fly out from each, each corner of the screen. There's only two rules you must remember. One, when two different letters clash, you receive damage. When two of the same letters clash, they fuse. Uh, okay, I think I got that. You should strive to make two of the same letter clash, while avoiding clashing different letters. Those are the basics. The tools we are giving to achieve this are called Catch and Release. Move the scope with the analog pad. When the scope is uh, pointed at the letter, you can press the circle button and catch it. We call that catching a letter. Bear in mind that you can only have one letter caught at a time. When you have caught a letter, push in that circle button will release it uh, where the scope is. We call that releasing a letter. We use catch and release to, do, to move the letters around and make the correct pairs clash together. When you successfully clash two of the same letter, uh, two of the same letters together, they fuse together. Fuse letters become larger and wait, become larger in what? Stay in place. Okay. When you aid, uh, when you aim at a fuse letter and push the circle button, the letter explodes and is moved from the game field. We call that exploding letters. Catch with the circle button, release the circle button, and explode with the circle button. That button really is amazing. But you re you can't clear the stage just by expl exploding letters. After all, the goal of flashing anagrams is to complete a keyword. By pushing the square button, you can remind yourself of the question at hand. Please try to reason out the answer to that question. As for assembling the answer, you can use a triangle button instead of a circle button to target fused words, letters. When you do, the fused letter still explodes but is sent to the answer board. If the answer is correct, it will be added to the answer. If it is not, you will receive damage. The answer must be assembled in the correct order. Please reason out the correct answer from the choice of letters flying around. By the way, if you, you leave a fused letter in play for too long, it will self-destruct. This will damage you, so try not to have fused letters unattended. Try not to leave them unattended. Wow, that was a long explanation. I hope it was clear. Kinda, but I'm scared because if it's, if it's gonna be all in Japanese, then I'm kinda screwed. Okay, let's see here. The place to got me was stabbed, and the place to the culprit stabbed him were not the same. Start with this notion, drop my preconceptions, and pick the right answer. She makes it sound. She makes it sound so easy. I feel something flashing in my mind. I think I just need a little more until I see the answer. Oh, poop. Um. Okay, hold on a minute, guys. Oh god, I can't. Oh, oh, because I kept pressing um, square. Okay, I, I was I would try pressing square to um. Uh, I tried pressing square to um. What was it? To uh, bring up the menu. Okay. Um. Now. This. It's probably going to be a little bit iffy for me. Because it's all going to be in Japanese. I mean, and I'm seeing if the guide shows me the correct word. And maybe, that's what, maybe that will help me a little bit. But I'm still afraid. Well, let's just see here. Actually, I can't really... There. Uh... Oh, crap. I'm trying to find the right words. <laughs> oh crap! Uh, how about this? That's a, that's a, it's in stock. Can I? Mm, does this need to get put up there? No, I can just get rid of that. Damn it! Um. Ah, uh, freaking a! I don't know what to. This is kind of poopy. How do I do this? Come on, game, help me out a little bit here. What do I do? Wait, wait, wait. I need this. Okay. Um, and then I, I need this. <laughs> oh crap. Um. No, 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 no. Didn't want to do that. Okay, I need. I want this. Oh, oh. Okay. Good. 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 That that wasn't it. Hmm. I can destroy that. I don't need this just yet. What is it that they want from me? Uh, 
That looks like something I need. Okay, that worked. Now I need something else. So it looks like an L in a sense. Oh, I thought maybe I can add something together. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. No, not that. I don't... Okay, that's gonna be a little iffy for me, because I kind of have to add these letters together, in a sense, and see... That, that, no, that ain't it. That ain't it. Does that work? No, okay, it has to be the same color. Same color, Pharaoh. No, 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 no. I think this is it. Yay! That spells crawl space! That took me way too long to determine. And because we dealt with that, and I'm just being a little bit of an idiot there, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a teeny break here and um, save the rest of the trial for next episode. I would never have realized this trial would, um, would, uh, well, take so long, or, or even, um, have so many things thrown at you at the very beginning. I, I mean, I understand, like, it's, it's different from the first game, of course, but, man, it's times like this where I, I kind of, not to say I regret doing this game, but this, it would have been, this LP would have, would have been so much easier to do if it was all in English. And the issue is, like, I kept looking up the words, like, the, the crawl space, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what characters I need or whatever, but it seems like I kind of have to combine a little bit of different, um, uh, letters to get a, something a little bit different, you know, because I guess kind of like that's just kind of how Japanese notation and, you know, the, the, the wording works like that. I, I guess it's, if you, that's how you want to put it, and because I have no knowledge of it and the guy doesn't really show me. It just shows me the end result. I'm kind of left like just fumbling and I'm, I'll try this, I'll try that. It maybe is more common sense than what I'm making it out to be or maybe I'm just kind of like an idiot at the, at right right now and maybe I don't understand it, but I guess I think it'll take some time. Slowly but surely I'm making progress, but man, these class trials are really going to give me issues. But whatever, I'm just, it has got me hooked in determining what really happened. That's what, that's all I really care about. So, I guess we'll just continue with the uh, trial next episode, guys. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. I'll see you guys later.